Hello everyone, Miss Brown here. Oh my goodness, I was going through my library and found the most amazing book for today. I hope that you're ready. I'm ready with my cozy blanket. I've also had my listening ears on. Do you have your listening ears on? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, it looks like you do. Great job. I think we're ready now. So the name of this book is called Mabella the Clever. I want you to look very carefully at the cover. What kind of animal that is? I want you to think carefully. If you don't know, then I would ask the grown-up that you're with. Are we ready to get started? All right, let's go. In the early times, some were clever and some were foolish. The cat was one of the clever ones. The mice were mostly foolish. So, were you right? Were you right? Did you guess that this is a cat? And did you guess that these were mice? Congratulations if you did. But one little mouse was not so foolish. Her name was Mabella and her father had taught her cleverness. Her father always told her, my Bella, when you are out and about, keep your ears open and listen. My Bella, when you are out and about, keep your eyes open and look around. My Bella, when you are speaking, pay attention to what you are saying. My Bella, if you have to move, move fast. Wow, that seems like such great lessons. One day, the cat came to the mouse village. Dear mice, I come to offer a special invitation. It has been decided that the mice may join the secret cat society. The mice were very excited. We get to join the cat society. And mice, my dears, said the cat, when you have been initiated into the cat society, you will know all the secrets of the cat. Come to my house on Monday morning and we will hold the secret ceremony. Oh, that seems awfully nice. Wow, they get to join the cat club. Monday morning, bright and early, the little mice were there. Oh my, you have all arrived, said the cat. How delicious, I mean, how delightful. You must all learn the Secret Cat Society song. The song goes like this. When we are marching, we never look back. The cat is at the end, fo fang, fo fang. The little mice learn to shout loudly on the last, fo fang. There they are at the cat's house. The cat lined them up in a straight line, and at the end came the cat. Hmm. Mabella got to march in the front because she was the smallest of all. Now we will march into the forest, called the cat, and you will learn the secrets of the cat. Remember, you must never, ever look back. There they go. Here's Mabella. I wonder what this cat's up to. Off they started. Mabella was leading the way so proudly. When we are marching, we never look back. The cat is at the end. Fo fang, fo fang. When we are marching, we never look back. The cat is at the end. Fo fang, fo fang. Every time the mice shouted fo fang, the cat fo fanged another mouse. Ooh. What's gonna happen next? Suddenly, Mabella remembered. 
Her father had always said, Mabella, when you are out and about, keep your ears open and listen. Mabella stopped singing for a moment and listened. She did not hear a long line of mice behind her. She heard a few mice and the cat's voice was getting closer each time they sang Fo Fang. Whoa, there's Mabella at the front. Hmm. Then Mabella remembered something else her father said. Mabella, when you are out and about, keep your eyes open and look around you. Mabella turned her head just a little to the left, just a little to the right. She did not see a long line of mice. She saw a short line of mice and the cat very close. Oof. Then she remembered that her father had said, Mabella, when you are speaking, pay attention to what you are saying. She listened to her song. When we are marching, we never look back. The cat is at the end. Oh, Mabella stopped. The cat is at the end. What does that mean? It means oh, no one is watching the cat. Mabella turned right around. There was the cat. Oh my goodness. She had just fanged the mouse behind Mabella. There is the cat fofaying the mouse. And there's Mabella, oh my goodness. Now Mabella remembered the last thing her father had told her. Mabella, if you have to move, move fast. Mabella dove into the bushes so fast, so, so fast. There she is in those bushes. The cat pounced on nothing but thorns. The cat was stuck. The mice were out and Mabella lived to tell the tale. Wow. She told it to her children and her children's children. Limba parents are still telling this story to their children. It is good to remember the things Mabella's father taught her. So listen. When you are out and about, keep your ears open and listen. When you are out and about, keep your eyes open and look around. When you are speaking, pay attention to what you are saying. And if you have to move, Move fast. Limba grandparents say, if a person is clever, it is because someone has taught them their cleverness. The end. Before we go, I did want to read a little bit from the introduction in the front of the book. So, Mabella the Clever was actually retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald. It wasn't written by her, it was retold by her. And the reason it says that it was retold is because um, Ruth Finnegan found this story in uh, Sierra Leone, Africa. Um, it was collected from a young man. Um, I don't really know how to say pronounce his name. Um, but in 1964, he had a series of collections, and this is where this book came from. Dr. Finnegan tells us that stories are very important to the Limba people. They tell hundreds of tales and use them to pass on traditional wisdom and morals. Long before there were written books, knowledge was passed from parent to child through these tales. The Limba say, our heart's memory is our book. Maybe you can place the story of Mabella the Clever in your heart's memory to share with someone else someday. So even if you don't have this book, if you remember the story that you heard, 
You can also do that tradition of storytelling, of oral storytelling, by telling someone this story without actually having the physical copy and passing it on for years and years and years and years. I hope that this book was wonderful to your ears and that you rather enjoyed it. I hope that you have the best day ever and thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good day. Ms. Brat, over and out.